we have inherited one idea of development coming from the West. From Asia, we want to bring another kind of development, where development means there are no poor people in the society anymore. We all live in the ocean of money. We can go on increasing our wealth repeatedly as a cycle, but the poor people cannot take a sip out of it. In a world where you need a dollar to catch a dollar, that first dollar is never given to them. You need to have something to help the bottom people lift themselves up. definition of poverty, and then the five women, they make a group of five within their community. So these are the criteria. We don't ask. Sorry? Only for the women, right? Only women. Only women. What is the minimum loan you are giving to the borrowers? In the maximum, $3,000. Minimum, minimum, $500. Weekly repayment. Weekly 2% of the principal. Do you think you can reach a thousand borrowers by the end of the year? Yes, definitely. a company called Grameen America, and we give uh, micro-credit loans out. And I have some flyers, uh, if you know anybody in the community, uh, we will provide you along with a lower interest rate. I can give you some information. Okay, I'm not interested. You sure? Yeah. What we do is we help give loans to women in the community who want to either start small businesses or improve their current business. Okay, I can understand the English. <laughs> I was talking to one of the ladies and she asked me, do I need some kind of a collateral? And I told her no. And she asked me if I was part of the mafia because in their neighborhood, like when somebody offers you money for a short amount of time with that kind of interest rate, um, and I told her, you know, I'll come collect the money every week. And she, she was just like, you know, what happens if I don't pay? I said, don't worry about it. We'll just motivate you. I was, you know, like, you know, I was telling you, we'll motivate you and you have a group. You see, the Grammy is not English words. It's a Bengali word. It means a rural. But now we have started in the queen. This is the Jackson Heights, yeah? Our plan is to cover the whole queens. During the five, the five years, we are going to open five branches. And we are planning to cover about 21,000 members. I am starving. We have to eat something. No, we cannot stop, Mr. Shah. Okay. <laughs> Dry I can't believe this is the first time you've been through a drive through I guess they don't have drive throughs in Bangladesh. I, I wasn't working last semester, I was just going to school. Mm -hmm. But before that, I worked for a pet carrier manufacturing company where I used to do customer service. <laughs> Joys of driving for the me. It gives the banking support where um, one can't get support from the traditional banking system. This is the collateral-free 
Lord. Wow. Okay. You don't have to present all of the things that a regular traditional bank requests that you have. You don't have to have uh, property. Opposite to the bank, what the traditional bank they are doing, microfinance is doing opposite. But we have one condition. Grameen America asked that there's a group formation of five. It's tough being able to meet weekly with your group. They are coming to increase their income. Yeah. Right. First, you, you must invest then you can get return. So here investment is their time. We are not asking to invest their money. Just you, you provide, you give me some time mm -hmm. and we will pro give you capital. But that's but hard. Try to motivate. It, yeah, I that's know hard that because, hard. because people work. We are talking maximum one hour. Okay, let's say you have a woman who works in the salon. Yeah. Okay, she can take an hour when she doesn't have a, a you know, a Client. customer, yeah. But let's say you have a person who works in an office, who works from nine to five, then they can't break their schedule, so then but it gets hard. They can convince their uh, boss. United States people are working. Mm -hmm. When I first heard about everything, I, I couldn't believe it because I said, I said, well, maybe in some other country, but this is the United States, and for you to just go with, uh, you know, people who, yeah. you know, not have to have anything to really back themselves up, I said, it's not going to work here. It's unheard of concept. Bank which lends money, not to make money, but to help people. Rich countries, you want to take care of the poor people in a way, they remain poor for all the time. So you don't help them to get out. So well, trap them in you trap them in into poverty. So I said that welfare laws should be in a way that you, once you are in difficulty, we come and help you. And from the day one, our effort is to get you out. It's the old adage, you know, but you give a guy a fish, yeah, instead yeah. of a fish pool. That's right, yeah. Just to it. keep him in poverty. If you're on welfare, can you still obtain a loan? Would that be feasible under our government control? No, no, it's not allowed. We have deliberately chosen Jackson Hyde so that we can concentrate on the uh, immigrant population and newly immigrant population because none of them has gone into the safety net program yet, like welfare and all the things. If it is successful, we can impress on the welfare authority later on to see if we can uh, get a waiver. People say you have the audacity to come here from the villages of Bangladesh to the urban heart of America. What do you say to that? That's what we wanted. Uh, people to see what we are doing and get shocked. That's true. Why don't the bank lend money to them? Why did they wait that long that some Bangladeshi guy has to come and start doing the uh, thing to them? So that's the kind of message that we want to raise. It's not for us to make money out of it. To raise the issue, this is not fair. What we do, we lend money, small amounts of money. And the thing that we have innovated is to make the payment very small. We do it by making weekly payment. If you take a loan, say $50, literally you are paying $1 each week. That's our lending program. Then we have an equally strong savings program. Each borrower is encouraged to have a personal savings account and then put a small deposit in that account each week. Her number is 1001. She's our first member. You know that people like attention. You no, know, I go Manhattan, I buy expensive hair, right. I put the bit from Prembrachini to Trilla. But she know how the hair. I say, oh, need a hair. You like it? Yeah. Forty dollar for line. Forty dollar. Pa pa pa. How much for me? Good. A lot of money. You need business. You need, you know. One dollar and two dollar and three dollar. And tomorrow you have money. But see, I know how it. Si somebody give me, you know. Tao el sistema, porque yo he ido a muchos bancos, cuando presta, me dijo que presta. Entonces, si este programa ayuda a la mujer, porque yo me voy a encargar. Yo busco a todas las mujeres que están por ahí en la calle, aguantándole a su marido de todo, por diez pesos y cinco pesos, cogiendo frío, vendiendo maíz, vendiendo flores. Esas mujeres yo las voy a obligar a que te regalen la casa. I go every day, three times, 
Se lo vaya explicando mientras que yo voy haciendo esto. Claro. Que ahora no. Es fácil, pero más tienes que decir. Los dos recibos que tú tienes, ¿cuánto va a pedir? Aceite, compré condiciones para vender. Compré de pasado. Dos salones. Dos salones. Dani, tú dices. Sí. This isn't just an organization that gives loans. It's not just for any personal reason. It's not to pay off a debt. It's not to pay your cell phone bill. It's specifically for activity that's going to generate you money. And you also have to be able to show proof of that. And the group is responsible for making sure that each of the people are using the loan for that activity, that they have an activity. The idea is that as long as the whole group is paying on time, you can get a bigger loan. There's a pressure that's created from the group that keeps everyone on their toes. ¿Tú crees que tú tengas 15 minutos antes de que te vayas para No, tú no vayas en tu carro. I have the same lady who's been doing my hair. She knows me since I was a little girl, and she's also Elizabeth, who's our first member. I was at the salon doing my hair, and um, I just was telling her, yeah, I'm working with this organization that they're really focusing on working with the women who have activities that can generate money and helping them progress. She was like, what? Are you serious? And she just started yelling across the whole salon. Oh my goodness, Alitia has something that we're going to do. We're all going to participate in, you know, it's going to help us and we're going to become rich. Women have had bad experiences with money lenders, and I always call it the man on the corner who gives out loans. Women receive, you know, $2,000 loans and only have to pay interest in the beginning, um, so they, their balance never goes down and they just constantly have to pay because they don't have the sufficiency to be able to break themselves out of these border lines that are holding them back. They can't go to regular banks because they're not loan worthy in commercial banks. I put two lines, but I put two lines not in one, in two. Entonces, when you put two double, she has four. El blower. Está bajando. Baja. Te duele. Te puya. Cuidado que aquí está mejor. Ve María, una más para que quede regia, para que bote el marito ese que tiene. Esa, 25 años, tengo que hacerlo rápido, ¿verdad? Más fa que Western Junior. Este para acá, este para allá. Ay, María, qué odio, mira. Ponme la mí también, ¿cómo va? Ay, no me digas. Pero como chido, ahí tuve más house, ahora ahí puse tu line. Ahí tuve 50, 25, 25. Thank you, Maria. Before I leave in Santo Domingo, when me walking over there, he pay me seventy-five dollar every week. Told him yeah before. When me come first time here, I say, oh, let me check how much in one week. She give me two things first week. I say, oh, a lot of money more over there. I say, oh no, stay here, more money.
I have been working at Grameen Bank for 27 years. First in Bangladesh, then in Dominican Republic. Assalamu alaikum, Dalia. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. जमा कपड़े क्वालिटी बेड़े गेले मे स्कूल दिखे नजर जरा स्कूले जेतो ना तक स्कूले पाठा ठीक पुरुष अनेक पुरुष तब ए ग्रुप अफ मैन का देखा गया है तरह रेस्टुरेंटे जावा बैरिए गए जखरा पुरुष ग्रुप कर स्वामी स्त्री दूजन ही लोन खाटाते पर लोन जा महिला नामे एन हे कि महिला के फैमिली डिसिशने ना डाकले तरह है ना शुरे दाम दीते हैं शाशुड़ी दाम दीते हैं क्यों टाक ফর্ম I passed your two, Mr. Shah. She's supposed to be two, yeah, two, group, two groups a month. Well, so maximum I'm, three. I don't know. Why don't we just do as many groups as possible? No, so in that case, uh, she cannot uh, provide the proper training or attention. <laughs> that is the, our concept. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> For you, Nick. And so we will officially start this center with three groups. The terminology of center comes uh, from the fact that uh, there's more than one group right. in a particular area. Mm -hmm. And so here they started out with a big boom. Weekly, we're all going to meet the same way we are now. Um, and we will all go through, I mean, I'll, you know, we'll go around and we'll collect the money from each person. On a thousand dollars, it's twenty-two dollars. Twenty for towards the loan and two dollars towards the interest. savings. Yep. And no. that's two dollars towards the interest. And then Separately, $2 to your savings. So it's 24 Yep. Once you get it, the 5%, 5% of the loan goes right into your savings account. Then after that weekly, you pay just minimum $2. Is that just money that's held there, or is that accessible to us? It's accessible to you. You okay. will get a debit card the same way that any oh, savings yeah. account, okay. when you open an account, works at a bank. And you get a um, debit Citibank card. Citibank will, yep, they will provide you with a debit card. In each group, is the first two who are going to receive the loans. Can we decide that tonight, too? Hey, y'all have to watch this. We're picking the two people who's going first. Drum roll, please. Hey, the first in. The first one, please. I just And the second is... Miriam. Miriam. It may not be part of Grameen America's experience, but Grameen Alethea's experience is parking. <laughs> parking, parking, parking. I just remember my first day at the office, uh, Mr. Shah kind of going through everything, and I'm a note taker, so I just, you know, I was just writing everything down, just writing everything down. And I went home that night, and I just started looking over everything. Um, he had given me, uh, I guess, what is that? this little little booklet with a woman on it um, about Grameen, about the Grameen Bank. And, you know, I went and I was reading the books and, you know, and it was, you know, talking, had, it started detailing, you know, the, even the, the money or the quantities that they give, but in, ta in taka and not in dollars. And, and I'm just reading this book and I'm like, wow, this is just, you know, this is in completely somewhere else that I have no idea uh, even how it looks
খারাপ লোক তো এই জায়গা রাখা চলে না কাজ আমরা বাদ দিয়ে দিচ্ছি Grameen Bank lends out over a billion dollars a year in tiny loans. We have 8 million borrowers and a staff of over 27,000. This staff meets all those 8 million borrowers every week. Banking system is based on the principle, the more you have, the more you get. If you have little, you get nothing. If you have nothing, of course, nobody gives you anything. We reverse that principle. Okay, smile. We do the same way as we do it in Bangladesh, five-member group, weekly meeting, mutual support with each other, help each other to stay afloat together. Some would say that in, in other countries, that bond of your peers helping you, maybe pressuring you, but in the United States, there's a different character, perhaps, and, you know, people can easily dispense with their credit cards, go bankruptcy. What do you, how do you respond to that? People say this can work any, any place, any city in the United States, if it worked right here in uh, New York City. For Wall Street, 2007 will forever be known as the year of the subprime meltdown. The worst is likely far from over. Financial institutions, including investment banks and hedge funds, are looking to make money in the home for the energy. His main job is to give the money and get it back. And finally come to the break even. That's his job. If he doesn't get to the break even, he has no job. Full cost recovery, that's the whole idea. Grameen always feels it's a business. Business to do good to people. It has to be sustainable. If it's not sustainable, there are 200 other programs working. So why do you need a Grameen program? Uh, Jaretta? Anything with Jaretta? Different centers have their different situations. You know, personally, as a center, everybody's learning this Grameen process, you know, including myself. If you could bring your loan utilization forms next week, just kind of talking about what's going on with your business activities and where you're at, how the business is going. I got my money, and I am a, <laughs> I, I bought an ice cream truck for mine. Yes, I have an ice cream truck. <laughs> I'll bring it, uh, the truck will be here next Saturday. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We have an ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs>
I do catering. Yeah. I also cake decorating. I cater for parties, wedding, graduation. I graduated in 2003, and my dream was to get me this big mixer. And I couldn't believe it when I got a check from Grameen that day. I was like, I got my mixer. I couldn't believe it. Well. I the sugar and the butter and the flour together, mm -hmm. and then this, you know, this thing is just like, I would have to do two times. This is what I used to use, <laughs> and I had it mix like, you know, mix and mix again. But now I don't have to do that. The average person that wants to do and know what, they do, what they're doing and is qualified really don't have the money to go out to go get a business plan. It's, it's expensive to go get contracts. It's expensive, you know, so they don't have that start of money. And this is what Grameen is doing. He is giving them that push, making them live their dream. And only ask you for it one hour a week. <laughs> one hour a week, what else can you ask for, you know? Wow, you're making yeah. the dough twice. The dough the dough, real dough and the dough money dough. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm a cake decorator, Pat Man. But that helped me a lot because different vendors comes into the store and I make contact with them. Know where to shop from to get things cheaper. How are you going to get all of those baked? My oven is upstairs. Do you have a regular oven? Of, yeah, regular oven. Yeah, your regular stove. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The commercial, the regular commercial oven you can't use here. You can't use here. No, oh, you, you can't, can't use it in the house. No. house. But what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to enclose the back mm -hmm. and then try to see if I'll get like a what are the regulations that they're saying that they need for that oven? Because of the electricity in here. Yeah, the, yeah the, it's, it's, like, it's, it's um, a more powerful oven. And you got to get like different vents. Did you do this in Guyana also? Oh, yeah. You yeah, did? No choice. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, what I, that's it. And I'm going to keep on going and going and going. Should I mean I'll be climbing. Next, I'll be aiming to get me a storefront a store or something. Front, yes. That's it. We're going well, for the storefront. That's right. Well, you started from your living room and your right. basement. And my basement, right? Because right now, every you job I do, I gotta make something else. Right. right. But I know it's gonna be like that for a while. Mm -hmm. Until. Until. Up top. <laughs> Up top. Right. Oh, down bottom. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, though. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. You go, girl. That's what I have to say. You go, family. All right. Yo terminé con el papá de my baby, porque he married all the lady. I moved the other apartment, the rent is more cheap. He moved to Manhattan, él se fue para Manhattan con tres baby. Now me only me and my three baby too. I put everything here. Now I clean, I feed him. That's my little house. I put raya here. The costume con I do it here. Before he go a lot of time Santo Domingo, he, the lady called me, she said he married with her. I said, oh, I can't believe it. Why you married with her? You meet her, see baby here. He said, oh, it's okay, go. I know why. Main like that. I need one man who love me, no love to somebody. Yo en mi apartamento tuve que arreglar todo para poder arreglarlo, todo para que se vea bien. Yo tengo que mudarme porque el apartamento es mucho dinero. Necesito son más barato. couple of questions. What do we do, Alicia, in a situation where we have yeah, someone who answer. two weeks in a row has turned in their money, but is just not here? The idea isn't just like, OK, we have someone who's not doing what they're supposed to do. OK, uh, you know, get out. Bye. Because it's supposed to be a support thing. You know, there are going to be weak links. It's creating this system and this this uh, understanding and this feeling of this union, this u unity um, that may not, it's not as strong here as it is in all these other places that they say that they've done Grameen. If it doesn't exist, we're trying to create it. Yes. yes. You know, 
but it does exist on some level. You it know, does. maybe you know in it this does. group, I it think does. in this you know? group it does exist. It does exist. Mm-hmm. If you, I mean, if you don't have car fare, well, maybe somebody could pick you up. You know, you don't have to make a big announcement. I think people know here who they can go to and say. That's exactly how we need it to work, because that's how you connect communities. Like, that's how this program gets a Nobel Peace Prize, because it goes further than just giving money to somebody. It goes in connecting, you know, cultures and communities and all together. That's exactly how this program gets a Nobel Peace Prize. Special, so give her a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. I call it too. Yeah. Take it two dollars. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet all of you businessmen. Y'all are awesome. Do you have a strawberry shortcake? Yeah. Can I have one of those? What you get? He's a truck driver now. 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 He's a that I could not help my son to finish his high school. helping other people. We want to do good to people. My mother always helped poor families and poor children. Probably that impacted on me. I came from a low middle class family and grew up in the village in the early years of my life. My father was a small trader. He was selling jewelry in the marketplace, moving from one marketplace to another marketplace. And I grew up in a big family with seven brothers and two sisters. As a child, you want to be a firefighter. As a child, you want to be a policeman. But Fulbright scholarships brought me to the USA to study. Fate has its own plan. It pushes you into a direction you never planned. The reason I got into it was a terrible famine in the country in Bangladesh. People dying of hunger. And here is a young professor teaching economics. All the grand theories, brilliant theories that he learned from American schools. You feel emptiness in yourself. What good is your knowledge when it doesn't come to abuse to people? So I just forget about all those economics. Why don't I just go out and see if I can be of any help, any use to him or her? And that was my ambition, to be useful, to make myself useful to another person in those difficult days. So every day I'll go out of the campus talk to people, sit down with them. And I did a lot of little things, but one thing kind of pushed me in one direction, that's the money lenders. They lend tiny money to the poor people and kind of squeeze everything out of them. So I started to make a list of people who are borrowing from loan sharks. Uh, I took a student of mine and then went around in the village for several days. When my list was complete, there were 42 names on that list. Uh, And the total amount of money they borrowed was uh, $27. And I was shocked that people have to suffer so much for so little. It 
it is a very intricate problem. But uh, the solution is very simple. If I give this $27 from my own pocket to all these 42 people, according to the list, and ask them to return the money to the loan sharks, the immediate bond between the loan sharks and the people mm -hmm. are cut. So they will be free people. Then I realized that if you can make so many people so happy, uh, maybe I should do more of it. That's my, my house. I pay $1,100 for a small apartment. That's the kitchen, that's it. That's my little room. Then my three baby, my baby is here, me is here. I'm sorry, no, I know. A nice decoration. Oh, I walk in every day, 8.30 to 7 to 8. I go in the morning, 6 o'clock. I cook only everything, give the baby, go to school. When the baby comes to school, I have the food, go home, take the baby to the baby city. I pay baby city for my little baby. How much do you pay? 100 for five days. I try sometimes to do a customer in my house, but the customer don't like it. The customer like it, relax, nice, you know, baby crying. You know. I want my salon tire. 25 years working for somebody, every day somebody more rich. Only when you work for somebody, somebody rich. When you working for you, you see the money. Okay, so where are the ladies that are ladies? You know, last week we left here, you know, we did the whole speech and the whole drill. And where are the ladies? Where are they? Do we know where the people are who are in our groups right now? I mean, I know I heard a few. But that does, I don't know if that was all groups. Do we, do we know that? I think group three is complete. Right. So then the only person that we're looking for in my group is Daphne, because Pauline's not coming. Janice is not going to be here. Tasha's upstairs. Uh -huh. I don't know about Therese. And Jennifer should be on homework. That's what Tasha said. Oh, yeah, Wendy called me, too. She's not going to be able to make it. Yeah. You know, it's something that we've been talking about for quite some time now. Before I asked Mr. Shah to come, you know, I've been trying to troubleshoot this. You know, the thing that what I was waiting for to happen, which was to say, you know, well, the women in my group, you know, like I don't, you know, I don't really know the women in my group. I was waiting for that to happen because it's the it's the point that we've been making to quite a few places, which is when they want to rush and just make a group, any old group, to start out with. They don't understand how it's going to affect them later. You know, you made the group to get your money, you know, but so now you can't, you're not, you don't want to be responsible to hold the group together, but it doesn't work that way. So Mr. Shah said, you know, you guys are responsible for fixing this problem. I will help. Mr. Shah, you had these problems in Bangladesh, didn't you? They have a lot of problems. They're yeah. facing every day. They're shooting every day. The problem shooting we're doing every day. And ultimately, they will be habituated to this program. Here, they are not habituated. They are not adapted to this type of program. This is the know that. Because they don't have any example before that. See, this is the dummy band that I found in my old computer. And nice. we are thinking to organize them in American workshop based on our seasonal problem. Business is not good not winter good. time. So what types of precaution we can take before winter? Mm -hmm. So winter is start here at what time? In November. November. From October, we can select some topics to discuss no October. Planning November, for the down December. season. So we can think about it. This is the some synopsis we found in my old computer. Very nice. This is nice. Because these are like the topics that you guys have, livestock. Hard to do this without nothing. See, it is a little different from a country like Bangladesh. Although these women are not loan worthy in commercial banks, they found another interest charging process to uh, be able to make money off of these people, which of course is always the checking account and the credit card, you know, th those other products, because that's where they're gonna make money. You know, the checking accounts, 
you do it you mismanage and charges thirty dollar charges service charges and uh and then with the credit card you know i even have my own personal experience on that i'm the typical um you know college student and gets their first credit card and and of course they all keep coming and of course i keep taking them all and uh, and then of course charge them up and uh uh you know each of those cards have you know 21 percent interest and uh without even realizing i charged them up to the max and so the highest interest is on the biggest amount and every time i'm paying 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 i pay every month but nothing ever moves and three four years have gone by and i'm still paying off of the same 500 dollars or the same 200 dollars uh for these credit cards I pay by the city one fee, 2100. I need to pay every week. Okay. 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 Yo tengo tarjeta de crédito del Shade de 300 dólares y del CD Band de 300 dólares. Pero yo tengo una tarjeta de crédito por lo menos de 1000 dólares. Crédito, en especialmente la tarjeta de crédito. Es una Está cosa de doble fila. Sí, no. Es para que usted tiene. Yo no lo mismo. Yo no lo mismo. Usted no presta, mira cómo es lo mismo. Usted no prestaron los 3000 dólares. Nosotros lo estamos pagando semanal y estamos quedando bien. Exactamente lo mismo. Pero también, mira cómo va. Agregando que también es cosa de conciencia, educación y también Exacto. diseño. Tarjeta, de, vamos a decir, el diseño también de este programa, este Exacto. programa dio crédito, las personas Exacto. lo están pagando semanal. También había una manera y un diseño de hacer eso bien específico para que una persona lo podía seguir sin tener que hacer mucho. Tarjeta de crédito se necesita personalmente mucha responsabilidad de usted mismo hacerlo y esa es donde se sale disciplina que muchas personas no lo hacen, hasta yo misma. Espérate, y una de las cosas que ese préstamo eh, hace que la gente cumpla es porque tú cada semana es ahí, constante, que si fuera que uno tiene que llevar el dinero, no es verdad que van a cumplir, no cumplen. No, igual con, con la cosa, vamos a decir, la institución tradicional, como los bancos comerciales, Igual como ellos hacen préstamos para ganar dinero, las compañías de tarjetas de crédito también lo hacen para ganar dinero, porque personas no lo hacen igual y los intereses son altos. Well, uh, let's see. I, I think I'll go to one more and then we're going to uh, close off. At what point does higher interest rate hurt the poor? Anyone? Uh, poor should not be presented as a kind of profit-making opportunity. We are already rich. Now we can do business with these people and make ourselves uh, more, rich, more rich again. I think the whole idea uh, is repulsive. I think it's, it's uh, significant that you say either you make money of them or you give it all back to them. The, the, real, the real trick is both have to benefit. Even Compartamos with its outrageous 100% in, uh, interest rate they charged a few years ago, they, they're, they're now at only 80%. Only 80%. Yeah. Um, Very cheap. Uh, however, even Compartamos benefits uh, the vast majority of its clients. There are some socially responsible investors who will put up money for free, but there are only some, and we need hundreds of billions. In reality, it has, it has to be in the middle, and this makes it also so difficult to say... Because it's something so new, it doesn't fit into their way of thinking. In 1976, we were doing something that we didn't find anybody who would support. Banks reacted against it because they thought it's a crazy idea. How can you lend money to people without collateral? Because collateral is such a fundamental issue with banks. This is crazy. Why should they pay back? Same thing with the academic. Why do you think you're so smart to do everything that uh, people have been believing for all these years? Suddenly you say that this is wrong and uh, you are the only one who is right. 
religious people didn't like us because we are lending money uh, to women. Husbands were mad. They thought we were deliberately insulting them. So we see in every direction people have very good reasons why they should oppose. Even today, I've been doing it for the last 33 years. People find it extremely difficult to understand why should it happen? Why? What do you do if they don't pay back? Once we uh, get the banking license from the government, once uh, deposits are open, then outside uh, money will not be necessary. But banking law is very tough in the USA and everywhere. So for now, we have to keep on raising money. Everybody talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. Bank. One more. Yeah. CNBC, 30 minutes. 10 for, from uh, 6 o'clock. Yeah, Another pick up. interview. Delegation to be ready for collection to hotel. An evening with Professor Yunus. Oh, there's a rest already <laughs> included for 15 minutes. The rest of yeah, 15 minutes. 15 minutes is included in the same. Hey, 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 I got Sorry. two minutes free. I don't want you to have any minute free. <laughs> Shall we go upstairs? He keeps he, no, one minute. Said, I heard that you had one minute free. I said, no, 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 let oh, me run. No, no, no way. No so way. Don't waste any minute. <laughs> no, not one minute. I don't know what you have. Yes. Okay. You can't have a minute. Can't have I try to uh, make use of myself because when the time is up, even if you shout, if you scream, people may not have that same kind of uh, attention. And even if I wanted to, probably there'll be a time that I cannot travel. So when I can still travel, still can go through this, I go through it. But uh, I don't understand why it's so difficult to raise money for Grim in America. It's not something happening in Bangladesh or in other countries, right here on the doorstep. How you doing? You, yeah, you wrote that book. Muhammad, yeah, how right. you doing? I, I, oh know, my God. I know your face. I saw, yeah. I saw, you saw it. You saw it. Saw it. Oh before. my God. Thank I, you. I never shook a hand with no Bonds winner. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Go. All right. Have a good day. Economist and Nobel Peace Prize winner Dr. Muhammad Yunus is with us this morning. We're talking about how his micro-lending idea got started in Bangladesh 30 years ago and spread, and now he's talking about how to end world poverty around the globe. Poor people are poor because it's their fault. Dr. Yunus, even though most people wouldn't say that out loud, a lot of people believe that, don't they? Dr. Yunus? Yeah, uh, they do. They, uh, most of the time you hear explanation like, oh, they're lazy, they don't want to work, they have no initiative in them. They don't want to work hard. See, I worked hard, I made my life. I was a poor person and I worked hard, I became rich. Uh, so they will bring in this kind of explanation. But if you look at the poor people case by case and you observe them, they work very hard. My first exam, I didn't do well. But because my son, I got sick at that point. But my second exam, and then and I started to move up. Then right with my final exam, now my sister passed away in Guyana. 
I had to make a decision between my finals and my sister's funeral. It was the hardest decision I had to make, but then it was my finals. I was doing the exam, thinking about my sister in Guyana the funeral, going to the ladies' room crying, go back in the kitchen cooking, back in the bathroom crying, go back cooking to make it through. But, you know, everything went well for me because I graduated top of my class. I was a valedictorian of my class, so I did make a sacrifice and it did pay off. I'm very excited I'm going down to Atlanta to my daughter. There's a big festival that they have their annual something every year for my country. And this is the first time I'm going out there and rent a boot. Okay. I'm going to fry the fish. The cooking going to do in the park. Seven children and five adults. Everyone going to be doing something. Pickles one. Buena. En verde. ¿Qué pasó? Te parece como blau. Sí, como si tiene algo. Y eso que yo lo que tengo son tres meses que, que estoy aquí sola, que el marido mío me pagaba la renta. Y esos tres meses yo no he podido pagar un mes de renta. Every week I need pay grain. Y every week, that's my check. I pay every week, but I don't pay my rent. Mm -hmm. She had a family set up and and that all went away. You know, the whole thing fell apart. And so has that set her back? Of course it has. You know, does it mean, of course, that she can't get to a certain level? No, but uh, it set her back, and it means that, you know, she has to work twice as hard. I look at those women, and, you know, they're much older than I am, and they just exert so much effort in everything that they do. Why do poor people have so much trouble getting ahead? I don't know. It's a good question. this bottom level of dealing with people who really don't have anything at all. She may not be in the level of a rich person, but she is of a certain level, and that's because she had the Grameen support. That just puts you a little further ahead than the person who didn't have that. All right. Oh, we were walking to the salon. I'm glad she walked in there. Hey, Eugenia. Look, here's another one. Beauty salon over here. And choose over there. <laughs> Yes, it's almost time. We have in a half an hour our meeting is very, very nice. Oh, she used it for also for the cards, for business cards. Mary's unisex. Very nice. Very salon people. Very shoes though. So how is it going? How is business? So I have 10 groups ten and groups. 39 have 30, borrowed. 39. 12 groups, 68 are, no, 58 are borrowed. I have 200 borrowers. I had a quite, quite a few borrowers in a very short period of time. And so I kind of said, 
wow, you know, well, I didn't really get to many of them really personally understand, you know, what they're going through and how they're moving and, and even really get into their business. I definitely have the group of women, they do know what they're doing. They have this skill and they, you know, they know what they're doing and just need, they needed this financial support and, you know, we gave it to them and they're moving with it. Um, but I do have the, you know, it's a challenge to work with the ones who kind of presented themselves that way but you see later on in hindsight no these people really do need some type of training because it's not working exactly you know however they had it set up in their head if you're actually doing more work in the beginning i feel like you, you should be getting a better result now i'm thinking about the beginning and i'm running around i don't really, you know and now i'm thinking if there's like when something is not working it's not the fault of the borrowers is the fault of the people who designed the system. So you have to go back to the system, readjust, redesign. We can create a different kind of bank, but a present setup of uh, businesses do not allow businesses to pay attention to most of the social problems. There is a big hole in capitalism. It's incomplete capitalism. I'm saying that complete it. Otherwise, all these problems will make it crash. News waking up to the American investment bank Lehman Brothers has filed for bankruptcy. It means the Wall Street institution, which has been in business for 150 years, has survived the Great Depression. It's now the most high profile casualty. Banks tell me that they don't want to lend money to the poor people because they are not creditworthy. Are the banks people worthy? The contrast between what we do and what the conventional banks do comes in such a sharp difference. In many occasions, when you will be lending money in the beginning, when you give this tiny loan as the smallest $30, $35 loan, Women will be holding this loan and literally shake. Couldn't believe that so much money is in her hand. And tears will roll down. Cannot believe anybody has trusted her such an enormous amount of money. And she feels that she, nobody believed her, nobody trusted her for a penny. So if anybody has trusted her with so much money, she would like to give her life to protect the trust so that that trust is never broken. And that's the contrast. going to understand and deal with the things that I'm dealing with. I, I don't have anybody else to compare it to, to talk to. Other people do with me, but I don't with anybody else except for Mr. Shah. And Mr. Sh you know, the only thing, you know, I can't get to Mr. Shah to tell him everything all the time. You know, I go through the big things. Um, and, you know, things Mr. Shah can, she only, can only share the experience, you know, as they come up too, because he can't, you know, go through everything in a day. When I hear everybody else talk is like, wow, I have a situation for everything. Like, uh, that's how I feel. Yesterday, Joanna um, just mentioned how, um, you know, she thinks that one of her members, you know, is diagnosed with cancer. I've got examples, I've got examples for that, you know? You know, I, I've got it all, and it all happened first, you know? And it's just, it's just, it's stressful, interesting, and challenging all at the same time. 
it's important to be here and it's important for your money to be here. I understand what you're saying. And then some of the ladies that I talked to said that, you know, when they come, they get belligerent. They said, you know, they talk about the ones that's not here and they said, you know, they don't want to deal with it. We have people that don't give a damn about the people that's already here. And the people that ain't here that are not here, they don't give a damn about us at all. And that's not okay. I didn't directly know. Like, I don't know all these well, ladies. Wait a minute. I understand it. The point is not that you didn't know or you did know, because I'm assuming that you all thought that everybody was going to be good. I don't have a problem that your friend flaked on you. I don't have a problem that because I can, be I can believe that. I can believe that you actually believed in her and, you know, you actually, you know, you're trying to help her. And she messed up, you know, she fucked up. You know, I can believe that. What the I, and I, I what I have a problem with is that now this person is fucking up and nobody wants to be bothered. That's where I have a problem. your day. Good. <laughs> oh, wow. That's nice. Our brass performance is very good. We are going to disburse one million in this week or maybe next week. Mueller is a Brooklyn group. They are from Brooklyn. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to open new brands in Brooklyn, maybe the first uh, two or three months of the next year. So already we spread out in the Brooklyn. Perfect. Every week we are getting more money and we are disbursing, getting more money, we are disbursing. And we have a 42 centers and 450 members. Our repayment rate is 99.53%. Now we are talking about opening a new branch in Omaha and North Carolina. So, you know, just work on that. Like I said, the, the doors are still open. I mean, it's not gonna turn your back on you, you know? It's just like Mr. Shah said, everything is pending right now. Like the, the money is not missing? a problem for her. She couldn't open that. I'm missing a primary ID. Yeah. Isn't that like every time I try to do something, I just bump into a wall? I know. And I just have to like stay back. I know that, that feeling. Trust like, me. I know. That's why I felt so bad when I saw you storm out when you try to do something and you just. Yeah, it was the same feeling when I was trying to go to college. Maybe if you aim lower and you don't achieve it, it's better. <laughs> no. 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 Just no. joke. No. We don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, some way, this experience it, it works. It makes sense because mm -hmm. you'll learn now, whatever, to be able to go through a situation that otherwise, right now, it's there's no way out of it. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a way out of it because you're going to get out of it. You mm -hmm. just don't know what it is right now, and this experience is going to help you that. And so that's going to be a big deal, you know. Okay. El negocio no estaba bueno para estar pagando Baby City. The father take it home Santo Domingo to the grandma. When he four years, he come back for school. I have 
time to make a little more money. I need to move to a apartment more cheap. frío cuando llego a la casa de noche, yo digo, eso muere el niño. Hi, ladies. Your option that Mr. Sharp presented you guys just break into your individual groups. The idea was that it's supposed to make it easier because whereas right now, we've been this whole time thinking about how we were going to get 24 or 23 people together. You, you may not look at it like a big thing, but it pretty it is a big step, which you means now that in, in January, now that's gonna help you to restructure your group so that it's much tighter. And uh, maybe we can go forward. Yeah, from, long time. That's not bad, yeah. It's not perfect, yeah, but it's not bad. That's good, that's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. After a long time, you know? This keeps going. This is yeah. This is gonna this, this is gonna keep going. Until you can reach it if you want to. You just have to get the determination. Cause God is not gonna stop you, but don't let nobody else do it. That was better. Say it ain't so. I will not go. You know that song. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights low. Carry me home. Du, du, du. Oh, sorry. That so cannot be on anything. I have to do to keep myself sane. Talking with all these women and all these psychological. Whoever can is just going within the confines of what's already been set. The repayment rate is good. You know, we have the majority of the people are paying their loans on time. We just have a few borrowers who have hit hard times and um, because they need a lot of support, it takes a lot of my time. If something changes, you guys are small enough now, you can work with the changes. But the fact that you guys stay together all the time does not ever change. Somebody ring the call. I spoke with her this morning. Yeah? So I said, please show up though. Money or not. This is okay. I have a feeling she's not coming. Ladies, I just want to say, I've been doing this for the whole six, seven months now. I'm going crazy. Do you see? I don't understand what you just, you just really think that like we just want to do this all day like I don't have anything better to do. Well, when the right man gonna blow something like this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Something like this, you're gonna blow it. They're yeah, gonna take so you to the whatever level you're going with your business. So you gonna easy. let it go? Yeah, well, that's oh, like no. when you have a business. I'm, I'm not gonna let it go. <laughs> And I get money from Rosanna and Francisco. Oh my God, it'll be beautiful, Mr. Shah. All the hard work will be finally. For a long time. <laughs> a long time. This is months, Mr. Shah, of pressure. Yes, good, Mr. Shah. Then she paid under this Nice, nice, Mr. Shah. <laughs> she knows she's not on time. Oh, Mr. Shah, I love you. There is a God. Sometimes there's a God. We announced that the Microcredit Summit campaign surpassed its goal of reaching 100 million of the world's poorest families with a microloan. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's get this, uh, maybe not out of the way. There'll be time for people to raise it again. But on the press call, what was certainly on people's minds so much was the economic crisis. The deeper the crisis, I see this is an opportunity also. Uh, the best opportunity to uh, address the issues that we couldn't address before.
because we are so happy with the system, the way it was working. Well, the system that we all belong to today create all the problems that we created in the world because everybody has a glasses, profit maximizing glasses fitted onto them. So they see the world with profit maximizing eyes. I said, would you please take off those profit maximizing glasses and the world will look very different. There are so many things to be done. Poverty, illiteracy, technology for the poor people, environment, housing, healthcare, and we have done that in Bangladesh. We created companies after companies. Whenever I see a problem, I immediately go and create a company. You don't have to wait for the government to do it. We can solve our problem. People say, are you crazy? People just investing money not to make money for themselves. I said, the funny thing is, people are really funnier than that. <laughs> they give away their money. Charity dollar has only one life. If you use it, it's done. But if you can define this or design this into a social business, then suddenly that social business dollar has endless life. It's all about creativity. How creative can you get? came together. We figured we want to alleviate poverty, but how do we do it? So we jumped on a plane and we flew to Tanzania. While there, I realized that 45% of the, the uh, Tanzanian population is under the age of 15. Young people are uh, very eager to play their role, leave the world in, in a better shape than we found it. So they're searching, they're looking for ways to do that. creating companies to end all the problems we have, and we create our dream world. Um, what's going on in the office is um, two men came from Bangladesh now, the gentleman who's the perspective to be the branch manager for Brooklyn and to be the general manager for Omaha. When we started our program, first I started alone, then I hired another one, two. So we, we worked three there. Now we are eight staff and working together. We have been trying to get a bigger space and we got it. All of my colleagues are happy to get this space. Because you know we had one window that did not have any way to open, so this is a big deal. The bathroom and the window. It wasn't going to be at the end of the morning. Elisa, lo que podemos hacer con esto es podemos cambiar los contratos para bajarlo para el año, pero el resto del tiempo que queda, Y por ejemplo, si faltan cinco semanas por acabar, entonces van a ser diez. Van a ser, oh, sí, un poco más. Entonces yo tengo una cuanta clientica que se pone en pelo, pero que yo voy a la casa de ella, no que ella viene aquí. Yo tengo una para, me dijo que para esta semana. Entonces esa, esos 100 pesos me lo voy a buscar yo aparte por ahí. En un ratito yo la hago, yo tengo una. No, entonces yo lo voy a ver si esta semana me va bien. Entonces yo te lo doy doble, con papá para recompensar esto. Yo no quería hacer eso, pero sí es una solución. En tener ese fe es donde usted va a tener éxito. Tú tienes que confiar de que, bueno, yo voy a esperar. Y ahí tú, tú empiezas a verlo. Pero para la persona que quiere ver resultados de una vez, esto no es para esa persona porque los resultados no vienen de una vez. Be the kitchen. My 
sink is going to go here. This bathroom, I'm going to remove this bathroom. I'm going to put a door, an opening here to go over in the store. Take out Guyanese American food, mostly Guyanese. Food. My guess may be just two chairs and a table. This, we're going to put the, the warmers here, like there, like this, like that. So they just, people just come in here, and you place your order here. You could see there what you want here and there. And I'm going to display my cakes, like a rack there to display the dummies. And then they just come in and place the order. It's going to be, it's going to be like over the warmer. Well, I'm going to get maybe two employees and interns. I can't go to work and then be here. I got to focus on my business now. That's the reason I made the sacrifice. All right, I'm going to make it. <laughs> what money. You know, negotiators, attended a reunion del centro cada semana. Eso es ya. Esta es la forma de utilización de préstamo. You write it down? Yeah, I write it down. <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. ¿Entiende? Sí. Bueno, es claro, buen español. Ah, yo he aprendido el español. Sí, bueno, bien. bueno. Está mejor. Muy importante. Thank you very much. Y debe el cheque. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good news for you guys because Simone is on her last payment this week, right? I think it is. So Simone's gonna finish her loan. Positive thing for you guys. Simone, my question just is, uh, will, are you are you gonna continue? Transportation is a big problem with me right now. Yes. So I told you I wanted to move to Jamaica Center. You were thinking, okay, you should be in a center that's much closer to your house. You just should be. You know, there just wasn't one in the beginning. We weren't in the position before to do anything, whereas now we are. So it's all good. This is part of the process. Discipline, unity, hard work will allow us to succeed. Discipline, unity, hard work will allow us to succeed. Discipline, unity, hard work will allow us to succeed. My life. One day, Torre, where I don't have nothing. And when America Group come, give me something for push for the, the, the money, he gave me, you know, brain. I miss you, the baby, you know, but I know I'm more better. Now I feel more better because I know I give you everything. Yo cogí el próximo préstamo para comprar pelo y accesorio y producto para vender. Y ajá, pronto voy a tener mi propio negocio. Te voy a poner cash. Ay, no. Greg, give me the money for me to do a business. Pero he helped me for the business and for my life, too. Ese dinero no story about a boy who sees an old man tossing starfish stranded by a receding tide back into the sea. There are so many, asks the boy. What difference can your efforts possibly make? The old man studies the starfish in his hand and tosses it to safety, saying it makes a difference to that one. The men and women we honor today have led very different lives. What unites them is a belief that our lives are what we make of them. The truest test of a person's life is what we do for one another. Everybody has to have a purpose, whatever way he or she defines the purpose of being here. 
because we are here for a very short time. This short period that I'm here, I should do something that I feel good about. Then what is it that you want to do? finding parking. Not necessarily that you can't find a meter, but you know, I never have any quarters. And now quarters is an expense. <laughs> oh, look at this guy, just got a parking space. Oh, no, no. Yeah, how does he get up a spot? That was mine. That was mine. mi negocio acerca de decoración para fiestas. Voy a empezar a comprar los materiales, la bombona, los globos. Muchas gracias. Welcome to your 